All right, all right, all right, squad. It is day 17 and we are back to training the obliques. Um, so we're gonna have four exercises on one side and then we'll do the other side and then we're gonna repeat it all again. So when I told you that all of these workouts were 10 to 15 minutes, I may have told a little porky because we have one extra minute today. Um, but I didn't wanna cut any of the exercises out because I really like them and I'm really attached to them. Um, you're gonna need one medium dumbbell or kettlebell um, and let's get into it okay we are gonna start in a single arm modified plank so take those hands a shoulder width apart bring your hips forward so you're in one long line then bring one hand into the middle and take the other hand out to the side okay now squeeze the glutes keep your hips forward you're gonna feed that hand through the gap and then bring the shoulders back square, hips are square, and open the arm back out. And rotate under and up. You'll feel that core work hard here. Now eventually, we're gonna be taking this to a full single arm plank. So we've got 15 more seconds. If you wanna give it a little go, lift those knees off now. Three, two, and one. Woo! That full plank version is tough. Okay, into your side plank. Doesn't get any easier. <laughs> into your side plank. Bring the weight nice and close to your body. Top leg in front, underneath leg behind. Okay, you're in that side plank. Okay, lifting those hips up high. You have the option at any point to drop your knee to the floor to make it just a little bit easier. Now, you're gonna pick the weight off the floor. It doesn't need to row particularly high. It just needs to come off the floor and drop. And lift and drop. Okay, keep those hips lifting up towards the ceiling. Pushing that base elbow down into the ground. Doing well, squad. 10 more seconds. Good, three, two, and one. Well done, rest down, just drop that weight to the side. Now, give the side that you were just working a little scratch because that is the side that you wanna be working from this next exercise, so you need to flip over. Okay, you're on your elbow and you're gonna reach your arm out in front of you. You're gonna push down so you're on the elbow as you bend the legs in and reach for your toes. Okay, so we've lifted the waist off the floor and then stretch all the way out. And push that forearm down, reach for the toes and all the way back out. Okay, so we're working the same oblique. <sighs> Exhale and inhale, reach. Ten more seconds. Well done. Last one. Good. And rest. Okay, we are still working that same oblique. So I'm going to flip around the other way so I always face you. Okay, picking up that weight. And we're coming in to that single leg be in with a twist. Okay, now if you have any disc issues, please drop the weight and do it just body weight, okay? If you have a healthy spine and you're all good, feel free to keep hold of that weight. Okay, always finding that control on the way up and the way down. 15 more seconds. Keeping those arms bent just to make sure that the load, the weight, is sitting in your core and not in the shoulders. Last one. Yes. Good job. Okay, coming all the way up, drop the weight down the other side so it is there, ready. Okay, and coming into that single arm modified plank. Okay, hips come forward, squeeze the glutes. One hand comes into the middle, other hand opens out to the side. Then when you're ready, rotate, let the body sink down, break that stability, and then 
come back to square shoulders, square hips, reach the arm out, and under, and lift. Okay, if you tried the high plank version for the last 15, lift those knees off now. in the high plank. You also want to let the hips drop and then come back Woo! and relax. Okay, coming into that side plank, top leg in front. Okay, push that elbow down into the ground and let's bring, sorry, the weight nice and close to you so as they're ready, lift those hips up. All right, and pick up that weight off the floor and drop and lift and drop. your obliques are vitally important to support your spine. Okay, the obliques do so much. They stabilize the spine, they make you side bend, and they make you rotate. They're magical. <laughs> 10 more seconds. Three, two, and one, good. Okay, rest. So scratch that side, because that's the one we're gonna work. As you flip over the other side, arm is out in front of you. Legs are slightly in front of you too, about 45 degrees. And then push up onto your forearm, reach for your toes, and then all the way out. So you're kind of balancing on your hip bone. If that is uncomfortable for anyone, if you double over the mat, just make it a little bit more cushioning for yourself. Okay, try to keep, I just saw mine do it, try to keep your knees together. Mine always like to open out as I bend in, but squeeze the inside thighs together. Remember the inside thighs help with that engagement through the midline. Good, five more seconds. Let's get one more rep in. Yes, well done. Good job, okay. We're still working that side, so we're about to twist towards that one. I'm gonna flip round, so you can always see my face. You might not wanna see my face, but you don't really get a choice. Three, two, one. Twist, and down. Okay, really think about that back elbow, twisting back, seeing the wall behind you. So your core feels like you're wringing out a dishcloth. It's getting all tight in the center and then back. Good, couple more reps. Three, two, and one. Woo! Okay, we have all of that again, yay! Okay, get that weight just up the other end so it is there ready. Okay, coming into that modified single arm plank and rotate. Now you might wanna lift up into the high plank a little bit sooner this time if you are up for the challenge. Or maybe this is one of those exercises that you take away with you and you practice, you train that single arm stability strength, you train that anti-rotation and you get it. When you're in the single arm version, think about the elbow coming towards the floor. Three. Two, one. Woo! That doesn't really get much easier. Okay, or hasn't for me yet, at least. All right, so bring that weight in nice and close. Set that plank up. Here we go, lift. Now remember, your option was that knee down, but if you want to go even harder, then your option 
is to bring that leg forward. Woo, hello. It's getting spicy. It's getting roasty toasty. 20 more seconds. Come on, tap in to that discipline, that determination. Getting the most that you can out of these sessions. Okay, let's just go for two more reps. Woo. And three, two, one. Woo. Okay, drop that weight out of the way and flip it over. Now, this one, you can go bent legs again or you can go for that oblique jackknife. Three, two, one. Okay, so you lengthen the lever of the legs, which just makes it a little bit harder. There is a bit of a twist as you come up towards the toes, and then you do it down and you roll back onto the hip. Okay, so when you take the straight leg version, there's just a little bit more rotation involved. Okay, you want to really get into that rhythm of pushing the elbow down, that arm is there to help you. Folding in half. Three, two, one, yes. Well done. Okay, single leg, the in with twist. That weight is there, ready and waiting. Okay, stretch those legs out. Three, two, one. Let's twist. Beautiful work. Keep it up. Good, 15 more seconds. You're doing great. We've just got the other side to do and then we are out of this thing for the day. Three, two, one. Always squeezing out that extra rep, okay. Bring the weight, prepare it up the other side. Okay, <coughs> modified single arm plank, hips, squeeze the glutes, hand comes into the middle arm unfolds out to the side. Okay, just spend that split second just to stabilize, find that position that you're always coming back to. And then rotate, and up, and rotate, and up. Now it's okay if the supporting elbow bends a little bit. I mean, that's gonna make it harder for your arms. <laughs> but for some people, they prefer it and that's okay. For me, it feels like it makes it harder, like I'm doing a single arm push-up. Let the hip drop. Woo! Let's get one more. Okay, well done. All right, resting, coming in <clears throat> to the side plank. Bring that weight nice and close to you so it is there, ready. Top leg in front, three, Two, one, lift up into that side plank. Okay, hips lifting up nice and high. And then pick the weight off the floor and drop. And pick the weight off the floor and down. Now your option to make it harder, to intensify, to bring the heat, was that back leg coming forward. Woo! Oh yeah. Now you are seeing everything that challenges me. Everything that I need to work on a little bit more. But we're taking this journey together. Oh, come on. Let's go for one more rep. Yes, and rest. Could I finish a little bit before? Okay, now coming in to that um, oblique, in or jackknife. Here we go. Pushing that forearm down, reaching for the toes, whether those legs are straight or whether those legs are bent. Okay, 
me see how much I'm really using this arm to help me out, to help the motion, whether the legs are bent or straight, okay? Whichever version you are doing, whichever version is challenging you, is pushing you outside of your comfort zone. Three, two, finish, one more. Good, okay, rest. All right, I popped the weight the wrong side. Okay, onto your back. Last and final one, the extra bonus minute, minute 16. Here we go, rotate. <clears throat> this one feels easy breezy after those previous exercises. finish feeling accomplished strong in those sides nearly there let's go for one more good rep really twist it out and release okay drop that weight down well done that was not an easy session okay there's some things that I'm sure challenged everyone or I hope challenged everyone and, and also make you see where you can take your core training to. Some of those exercises I find super tough and I've got to work on them. Good, and change. But that's the great thing about this, right? In creating this, in getting creative with the programming, I've found areas that I also need to work on. Good, okay, and just take hold of the back of your head, bend the knees slightly, and just gonna take an upper body circle just to kind of reset the waist. Go one more this direction. All right, and then three circles just to release. Make them nice and soft and fluid. <clears throat> yes! Squad, well done. Thank you for giving all of those a try. You are all awesome, as always. See you tomorrow.